So this is the way we can conclude that the stone age in India was declining at the time. Hello friends, I am Jitendra Kumar, his difficulty at Plutus IS. Today I have made a small video on a stone age in Indian history and today I will try to make you understand that how a stone age started in India and what is its Indian time, okay? So you know the stone age, especially the name, the word stone. Stone means the people were dependent during this age for a stone. So a stone was the main component of the people during this time. So let us understand that how it is started and from where we can start this period, okay? So before understanding the stone is, I will try to show you one picture. And this especially this picture will help you to understand that how the universe created in the time, especially if you see, if you remember this period, especially. Then what you find is that around 12 billion years ago, around 12 billion years ago, the Big Bang theory came and this was Big Bang. Then we have around 6.6 billion years ago, there was a ancestral and then what we find our solar, the solar system. So solar system was made in around 4.6 billion years ago. Okay. And this is the stage from where the human development started. The first, then the first age will come on the earth, it will be a pre-Cambrian age. Then this will go into the other age, Mesogenic age, and this will be coming like this one. And then where do you find that around the time of 1.6 million years ago, 1.6 million years ago means this is around 16 lakh years ago that we have a human reference. The human is coming. And if you see this other map, what do you find? Then if you see this chart, what you find that the, in this year, in the era called Pre-Cambrian era, the development was like this. And in this era, who were dominant? The fish were the dominant species at that time. And if you go in the Mesogenic age, bit start, in this time, dinosaur was very much dominant. But the human, especially the early evidence of human, started in the age called Cenogenic age. And that stage especially started that we have evidence of early humans started in the time for 2 million, 2 million years ago, that is 20 lakh years ago, okay? So this is, this, according to this, we come to understand that by the time of 1.5 million years ago, 15 million years ago, we have a settlement of humans on the earth. And by the time of 5 lakh years ago, we have evidence that this people, the early human, started using a stone. So in India, the stone history starts from 5 lakh years ago. So let us understand how a stone is started, how a stone is divided into different parts, how do we divide it, what is the other phases. So through this video, we will try to understand one by one. If we go further, what you find? Before this, you can see that India, that is here, contemporary India, was not a part of India at the time of Gunmanale. It was especially near to these regions, South Africa. It was merging from South Africa in uh, about of about 71 million years ago. It was near to that. And then by the time of 10 million years ago, the India came is in the part of Asian continent. This is the way we flourished. So we will firstly understand this one by one. And then what you see that when you go, the stone is, okay. When we go to a stone is, this stone age era, this age starts in the year called 5 lakh years. This 5 lakh years ago, where the humans were already there. So let us discuss about the first point, that is stone age. Do it right. So the stone age in India is divided into three parts. How many parts? Three parts. Part one, especially this part one will be the Paleolithic. Age. Part 2 is a Mesolithic age and the part 3 is a Neolithic age. Now I will try to make understand that how this age was working in India. If you see this data, what you find that around 5 lakh years ago, when the strain is divided and started, so we will let us divide this into 3 parts. How many parts? 
थ्री पार्ट पार्ट वन विल बी द पैलियोलैथिक पीरियड पैलियो लिथिक पीरियड पार्ट टू इज मैसोलिथिक पीरियड पार्ट थ्री इज न्यूलिथिक ऑल राइट इन दिस पार्ट वाट यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस पैलियोलिथिक मैसोलिथिक एंड न्यूलिथिक दिस डिविजन इज बेस्ड ऑन द टाइप एंड क्वालिटी ऑफ स्टोन टूल्स यूज बाई ह्यूमन If we see this is Paleolithic, it is the early. This is the early phase of Stone Age. This is a middle phase of Stone Age, and this is a new phase of Stone Age. Okay, this is a new phase of Stone Age. Lithic means stone. All right. So name of this Paleolithic, Mesolithic, and Neolithic is based on stone. Lithic means stone. Paleo, this early phase, Meso, middle phase, and then new, that is new phase of the Stone Age. This phase we know that this started in which time? Five lakh like years ago. So we will say that the Paleolithic is started in India in around five lakh like years ago, and this continued till the time when Mesolithic age started in India. So Mesolithic stage started in India in around. Ten thousand BC. All right, and then this will grow continue. So this will grow after four thousand BC, and then Neolithic starts a two years, two thousand before two thousand years before of the Mesolithic end. So it will start in around six thousand BC in India. All right. This is which is made of of about it is a very lengthy period of Paleolithic. So Paleolithic in age in India is further divided into three parts. How many parts? Three parts. Let let me make you understand here that how it is divided into three parts here. The part one, if you discuss this one, the part one is called as Lower Paleolithic. Lower. This is Middle Paleolithic. Middle, and this is Upper Paleolithic. Upper Paleolithic. This will start in five lakh years ago, and this will come. So this is five lakh. This will come up to fifty thousand BC. All right, and then this age will start in the fifty thousand BC to forty thousand BC. Forty thousand BC, and this will start from forty thousand BC to ten thousand BC. So this is the main component where the Paleolithic is started in India, and there is a major change happen between this age that we will discuss just after some time. So this is the scenario we come to know that the stone is divided into three part one, two, three, and if we go further, then what we understand that in the stone age you will find that in the lower, middle, upper, and Mesolithic period, Neolithic period, these are the main divisions. These are the types of tools used by human. I told you. That this stone age is divided into three parts, and the first part, that is Paleolithic, which is further divided into three parts. These all divisions is only based the first, the Paleolithic period, which is divided into three parts, is only based on the type and the quality of tools used by them. Let us see a picture of the tools, and then you will realize that especially during the time of Lower Paleolithic period, which period? Lower. Paleolithic period. What you find that the tools the humans were using was like this one: chopping tool, pebble tools. Okay, so these were the tools. These were the hand tools used by the humans at this time. So these were the tools. But when they develop, so during the Upper Paleolithic period, during the Upper Paleolithic period, they started using the tools like this: blade tools. So. The tools, if you compare with these tools, okay, these are the tools in the lower Paleolithic, and these are the tools in upper Paleolithic. So the differences between these tool is about the sharpness. This is a blade tool, sharp tools, and in the if you go to the further Mesolithic period, Mesolithic period, you will see the tools. This is so sharp and 
के लिए टूल्स आर अवेलेबल हेयर तो दिस इज द डिफरेंसेज ऑफ टूल्स यूज बाई ह्यूमन्स एट दिस टाइम सो दैट इज बाई द एग्जाम्पल इज गिवेन हेयर that these in the lower pelvis the, the people were using the pebbles and the toad tools while if we come to the upper pelvis they had the blade tools and then in the mesolithic they had the microliths so i will just tell you that what is the difference between those pre two periods and then i will try to tell you do you know these are the major sites in india where the tools have been found if you take example during the early paleolithic period the major sites we have is the son river so these are major sites narmada valley tirwana valley velan valley and Vim Vedka. These are the sites where the tools have been found from the early Paleolithic period. In the Mesolithic period, we have a Neva, Sadin, Mana, Narvada River. The Dabi sites are there, and the upper left we have Kurnal. So these are the regions where the sites have been found, and these are the importance of this site. Then the following cultures were being done in these sites of Paleolithic, Mesolithic, and Neolithic periods. Okay. What you see that if you see the some examples, what you find after this. That when lower, especially when the Paleolithic period was ending, so after the end of Paleolithic period, which period starts? Mesolithic period. So I will try to tell you some examples on this period. Let us say that by the time of the the age of Paleolithic period, let me repeat it for you again. Age of Paleolithic period was from five lakh to. Ten thousand. Okay, this was the age of Paleolithic period. In this age, Mesolithic period starts. Okay, Mesolithic period starts. Do you know the major changes that happened in ten thousand BC? Was before ten thousand BC, the climate of the world was ice. So there was an ice age in the time of Paleolithic period. Now the warm climate came. So in 10,000 BC, what happened in 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 the world? The climate become warm. This climate warm will lead to the smelting of ice. A smelting of ice. A smelting of ice will lead to the formation of river. Formation of rivers and this formation of rivers will made land fertile so are we getting the point that when the paleolithic period was ending the ice age in date warm climate came it led to the formation is melting of river and there what happened when there is a melting of river what happened we are going to understand That the rivers are being formed, land become fertile. Now this is the first time when around ten thousand to nine thousand BC we have evidence that the human started doing agriculture. So once agriculture is started, we found that there is change from Paleolithic to Mesolithic period. So this is the major change, and in this age the people were also Using agricultural tools. If you see the example of tools, I will just show you the tools. If you see these tools, these are the tools of these are the microliths. These are the micro lith tools. So these tools, the crop sickle with the half microliths, were used for agricultural purpose. So these are tools used for agricultural purpose. and that is why this is very much necessary for us to understand okay so now the tools the, the tools which were used by humans were also similar to the tools used by the modern human if we relate agriculture but till now the people were still dependent on agriculture only so in this time what happened so there the age of mesolithic period in india is around 10000 bc to 4000 bc all right then what happened when the people started using agriculture in large number but the people started using in large number large number now the tools are more sharper tools are more sharper so when these things happening the last settlements started the people have started using Pottery. Now they have domesticated animals. 
So these were the things we get examples, and that is why this again shift from Neolithic to from Mesolithic to Neolithic period. So this Neolithic period will start in around 6000 BC, and this will go up to 1000 BC. So in this period, the people were still dependent on a stone only, but there's a different type of small and revolution happened. That is why there is a very, very famous scholar. His name is V. Gordon Sai. He says that this age should be termed as Neolithic Revolution because a lot of changes started happening this time. Do you know what happened just after this Neolithic period? And then when the Neolithic period was still in process, it was from 6000 to 1000 AD, a major change happened in India. And what is the major changes in history, in the human history, the evolution of human history? The changes will be that now the people started using copper. So if you find in around, so what do you find in around 4000 BC, when in around 4000 BC, the people were using copper along with a stone. So the people were using copper along with a stone. And that is why the people who were using copper plus a stone are known as Chalcolithic. Chalcolithic. So these were the people who were using both a stone and copper together. So this age in India is known as, known as Chalcolithic age. And this period continued from 4000 BC and around to 500 BC. So when at one time in India, at one time the people were still using stones. So these people in India from 6000 to 1000, they are known as Neolithic men. The people who were dependent on copper plus stone together, they are, no, they are known as Chalcolithic men. But something different came. Now the people were using copper. The people were using copper. So people were using copper and they also invented something called tin. All right. So the people who were using copper and plus tin, so they have mixed it. They have mixed it. And the people who were using both copper and tin together, it become bronze. So in India, in around 3000 BC, the bronze civilization starts. And that this civilization is especially the mature phase, the mature phase of this bronze civilization in India is from 2600 to 1900. And this period of Indian history, especially the North West India is known as Indus Valley Civilization. Indus Valley Civilization. So what did you understand? The period where the people were dependent on the advanced stool of stones were known as Mesolithic, Neolithic. Then the people transferred from Neolithic to Chalcolithic, where there is stone and copper together. Then from there, they have moved to copper plus tin, and this age is known as Bronze Age. And one of the best example of Bronze Civilization in India is Indus Valley Civilizations. If I will tell you the cultures of these people, especially if I tell you the cultures of these people, the people were dependent on different types of activities. In the Paleolithic period, the society was very much different. Their society was based on reciprocity system. They were the band society. So there are different types of activities happening in this society. I will tell you in brief, just in brief. If you go there in the Paleolithic time, it is a time of Paleolithic culture. Paleolithic. They especially were dependent, they had a god, they had panties, they had austerity, it's very important. Their lifestyle, their hunting, their foods, every aspect is very much important. So this is the way we come to conclude that their society was based on French society. All right, student? So this is the way we can conclude that the stone age in India was declining 
एट द टाइम ऑफ अराउंड 3000 टू 2000 थाउजेंड बी सी एंड इंडिया इट वॉज रिप्लेस बाई डिफरेंट वन बट इट डज नॉट मीन दैट स्टोन इज डिक्लाइन एट वन टाइम वी हैव सीन दैट स्टोन इज वॉज स्टिल देयर इन द टाइम ऑफ वन थाउजेंड बी सी वेन द वैदिक एज वॉज देयर इन इंडिया सो एट वन टाइम एट सर्टन प्लेसेज दर स्टोन इज द पीपल वर डिपेंडेंट ओनली ऑन ए स्टोन एट सर्टन प्लेसेज द पीपल वर यूजिंग बोथ प्रॉपर पलस्टीन दैट इज वाई दे आर नोन एज ब्रोन्स पीपल एट सम प्लेसेज द पीपल वर स्टिल वर यूजिंग प्रॉपर प्रोसेस स्टोन एंड दीज पीपल वर नोन एज सेल्थोलिफिक एज इन अदर वीडियो आई विल ब्रिंग डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑन इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन सो इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन विल बी टेकन इन द सेकेंड सेट ऑफ अवर लेक्चर थैंक यू सो मच